Welcome back to the channel of Let's Talk Movies with Jonathan. Anyway, thank you for coming to the channel today. Um, obviously, you know what's in store for you because you are, have already read the title. So, let me show you what it is. Today, we're actually going to be doing the movie review on the 1950 Cinderella film. So, this is only my second movie review in my time of YouTube. I've been doing YouTube for three years now. I'm not so going to get into the movie reviewing things. So here we go. What I... What's Cinderella... Now, many of you know that Cinderella is actually a Walt Disney classic. I can actually feel like what they mean by how Cinderella is actually a Walt Disney classic. For one particular reason. The animation style is like really 1950-ish. You can just tell that in the 1950s, Cinderella release by Walt Disney was in the drawing animation, which was before like uh, 1995's Toy Story. But right now, we're doing the movie review on the 1995 Toy Story. We're doing 1950 Cinderella. Um, watching 1950 Cinderella, it was different. I mean, just weird, an aspect, kind of different. Um, watching the newer release movies, like by Pixar, like, like what Walt Disney Studios makes today, or DreamWorks, or... Um, Blue Sky, there's a bunch of other animation, animated movie um, studios out there. But while this one, 1950 Cinderella, has remained a classic to this day. So, what did I like about Cinderella? I, I actually felt like it was a good story. Um, the, the story told, the, the directing that while Disney went with um, making Cinderella was amazing. Um, the characters um, were just spectacular. Spectacular. I mean, normally I can't get into the characters as well as I do in Disney characters like Woody. I can actually feel like what Woody is actually going through. And like with Cinderella, I can actually feel... What Cinderella was as actually going for in the nineteen fifty release of Cinderella by Walt Disney. I mean, before you guys go ahead and comment saying, how in the world do you know how can you feel what Cinderella is actually going through? You can just tell it by her emotions on what Cinderella was doing by her stepsisters and her stepmother and what they were doing being so mean and hateful to her when she couldn't have gone to the ball and said but thankfully, um, the animals I made her dress and stuff like that. Um, now, there, there is some negative parts about the movie. However, there is not as much negative parts as we do now in newer movies as we have today. Now, there was some mess up during the animation that I think they could have not resolved. I mean, it's been impossible because it was all drawn Asian back then. But when Walt Disney was in control of making Walt Disney Studios movies, the animation movies, and the, the part of the animated movies by Walt Disney, they were all in the drawing animation style and technique. I love the, I love the original thing about Walt Disney's drawings. Um, for just the way that he drew them on paper, and then he transferred them into a animated movie, unlike what we have today with Pixar. Sometimes it just feels good to go back and watch a classic. Every once in a while, just go back and just watch a classic. There's nothing wrong with watching classics. Some people like hate watching classics, but I don't feel like what they mean by how Cinderella is a terrible classic of a Walt Disney film. I love watching Cinderella. Um, actually, to me, I think Cinderella is actually one of the best Disney princesses that Disney has ever made. So, the parts 
I absolutely love about Cinderella is that I can actually feel what Cinderella is actually going through. By the way, that he can feel by her emotions against her step sisters and her stepmother. It's just the way that they portrayed when that how Disney portrayed 